Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Howdy, folks. I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together, we are the most famous physical, ther- physical therapists on the internet. Say no more. I mean, in our opinion, of course, Bob. So how are we going to stop destroying our back, Brad? Oh, Bob, Bob. This is something that everyone needs to be aware of. And some people are not, and they're wondering, why is their back bothering them in this situation or that? Right. Or when they're up walking and they just get out of the car. This is one of the main problems with sitting. Yeah. Is, uh, it hurts your back right. if you do it wrong. And if you've heard the phrase, sitting is the new smoking, we could not agree with it more. It's one of those things that catches up on you. And it's making our life miserable. Yeah. When I say ours. Again, it's not only the inactivity. It's also the position. Right. So if you look at the spine, and that's where it all boils down right. to, the seated posture, the bad habits, take the spine from a good, healthy curve like this right. we call it the s curve and then turns it into the c, c curve. curve at which point we're putting stress on the discs the ligaments the muscles what else bob so say c of good health yeah c, c. or c for criminal because it's robbing <laughs> you of go. good health all right good one yeah well yeah <laughs> I, I used to do that when I get a ca- talk years ago on uh, posture and what. By the way, we're doing a giveaway. Oh, we're yes. giving away the Bob mm. and Brad hand grip strengthening kit. Um, if you want to strengthen your grip and be able to choke people. Oh, Bob, <laughs> why? Why is a family <laughs> show? Uh, but also, there's five different devices yeah. in there for strengthening individual Great fingers. Great for rehab. Yeah, if you want it to rehab really your is. Mm, little injury, you want to get the full function. So much for our commercial. There you All go. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right. right, let's carry on, Bob. Let's get right to it. The first bad habit. This is it right here. And everybody does this. After is a while. You take your butt and it slides forward. Yep. You start to fatigue gap. and you're you're trying to lean against the back. Yep. And, and then what goes along with that, Bob? The head right, forward right. posture. You get the full C. The criminals going after that back, <laughs> robbing <laughs> you of a healthy spine. So that's the first thing. Get your buttocks back in the chair and keep it there. You know, the in the car, there's the dead pedal. Yes. And it's on your left foot. You'll see a little uh, plastic or rubber spot there. You can push and you get your butt back in there. And I want you to do that every seven and a half minutes. It helps keep you in there, too. It does. Yeah. It is an amazing thing. No, All that's right. only for the driver. Yeah, yeah, there's a dead pedal on the other. Right, they right. should put them there, though. <laughs> That's right. I'm going to talk to in the back seats. Yeah, we're going to talk to the manufacturers. Number two, avoid sitting. On, 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 we don't have a sofa oh, God, right. or a soft chair, so we're just going to pretend we got a nice, cushy, brand new piece of furniture. So this could be a recliner. This yeah. could be like a side chair, yeah. but uh, I'm. You know, pretty much every couch, you're going to sink in. Yeah, and it feels, oh, it feels so nice right. and cushy. But look what's happening to my back. It's rounding. It's yeah. And then you sit there and watch a movie for two and a half hours. Right. Maybe fall asleep, wake up three hours later. I've never done that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so an easy way to correct that is to take a throw pillow. Yeah. And have somebody throw it to you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you cannot just pick it off the, off the table or of the chair. You I have to do not throw. sit in a chair oh. like this yeah. or a couch without grabbing a yeah. pillow. I mean, yeah. I've got one of those couches that has the recliner built in on the ends and then in and the it's middle. Got lumbar? It doesn't have lumbar, so I use this, but it has oh. the, you know, recliner oh, sure. on the couch. People, now we're blabbing. Yeah, what does that Again, do with anything? <laughs> mad at, yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Number three. We kind of alluded to this already with the throw pillow, but it, say you're in a regular chair, you want to use some type of lumbar support. And I, I think this really comes into play in vehicles. Right. In your automobile, yes. if you're sitting somewhere. you're getting shock absorption. Yeah. And you're in the vehicle for a long time, usually. Right. So a lumbar support. Well, usually we start. We recommend right. that. We'll We've got options that don't cost any money. Just go get a towel from the from the bathroom and roll it up, put some tape around there. Now, the diameter of this will vary from person to person. Yes, if you're a slender build like Brad is, you don't need as much. Thank you, Bob. (laughs) But if you have a large buttock Mm -hmm. and a big gap back there, 
you're going to need a larger support. And you know it's the right size because it's going to feel very comfortable. Yes. If it's too large, it's going to feel like a big bump and it's not comfortable if it's too small. And it also makes a difference on the chair or the car right. seat if there's a hollow spot back in there. And um, some car supports, now you can push the little button and it'll put the lumbar support out. Yeah, or they got a little thing you pump on one yeah. or the other. This is a cool little device that really works well. Get yourself some rice at the store, fill it up in a tube sock, and then this is Bob's sock. Luckily, it's clean. And then put it, so he put it the other direction so that the rice can't fall out. Well, I have two socks. I have well, one yeah, sock. two feet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what I meant. So he, oh, he put sorry. it in one, in one way and then the other side put the other way. So right. And I, I you, you didn't tie a knot in there? I no, don't know. No? Maybe you don't know. Whatever. Do what you got to do so the rice doesn't come out. And it's amazing how that conforms. Give me a douche. Oh, yes. Did I say that? Yes. Tanner, what did I say? You said douche. I didn't say douche. Did too. Oh, Play back. I apologize, a family show. But make sure that you get that lumbar support where you want it. That's another cheap that option. That really forms to your back nice. Yeah. It feels good. Yeah. And, and it stays nice and the temperature. Now, is after good. a while, if you want a pre uh, you know, manufactured one, you can go online and uh, you kind of know what the thickness is going to be yeah. because you've been experimenting yeah. yourself. And you can get one that looks decent. Yeah. There are so many different varieties and shapes. Uh, and you know, densities, density, medium, yes. firm, uh, soft. There's an air-filled one that yeah. you can actually put more or less air yeah. in it. And you lock it off there. Yeah. Uh, we I've used all of these, and I've had, uh, for me, what works best for me is actually this memory foam. Yeah. Uh, if you have sciatic or something like that, this probably won't work for you. I, um, I think it works well for a spondy. Yep, spondylostenosis. Yep. I think you're going to want the full cushion on yeah. those. And I'm telling you, this is a major game changer for me driving in a car more than 20 minutes. Even doing the lawn, right? Well, the yeah, the lawnmower. on the lawnmower too, because that, that helps you bounce around and that. It's just a wonderful thing. I have to have, I don't have to, but I, I've been driving this uh, car that belongs to my my stepdaughter, and it doesn't. I, if I forget this, I get a backache within a little over twenty minutes. I'm not comfortable, yeah. and yeah. I'm not pleasant. All right, next one. <laughs> SUV is a normal. Okay, what's next one, Brad? Working on your your phone or which, your laptop or your laptop or sitting and watching TV right. and getting this head forward posture because for some reason screens magnetize and pull our heads forward. It's just a natural tendency. Well, laptop makes sense. So the keyboard is down here mm -hmm. and the screen is yep. down here. Yep. So quite often, if you're going to work on a laptop for a long period of time, we actually recommend you get a separate wireless keyboard right. and yep. actually put the screen up higher yep. on a desk or on some type of support and use the, the keyboard. A exactly. Lot if it's your phone, you just matter. You have to be aware of it. Straighten right. yourself up, get the phone up here and that down here. Do, do, do. I Big can't difference. tell you, I, I go by the bus stop in the morning and the kids are getting ready for the, you know, to get picked up and they're all like this. Oh gosh. Yeah. I mean, it's they're, like, they're all going to turn into I the got, hunchback. I got to take a picture someday. Yeah. And then give it to them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They'll really? laugh. Uh, and then finally, and I put a couple of them together here because these sure. are uh, not everyone does. But, you know, if you find yourself, if you're one of those people that sit like this, you know, stop doing that. Or just do it for a short period of time. This could be hard on your SI. It could be hard on your uh, hips. Yeah. It tilts your, could tilt your yeah. whole pelvis and, and get that spine as well. So avoid that. The next thing is, is if you like go to uh, games or whatever in a high school or wherever where there's bleachers, right. no, nothing to lean back on. It is so easy to end up like this. Well, not only that, for me, they're really low. Yes. They're too low. So there's no way my knees aren't above my hips yeah. and that rounds yeah. out my back. You get that up. And, right. And, yeah. Exactly. Then you're all rounded out. It's like being on a squatty potty. <laughs> But you don't, you don't want to squat his potty on yeah. uh, bleachers. Yeah. Uh, now, we have a – you can get a cushion right. to raise you up. Or uh, the cushion, I like it. I use this because it's comfortable, it's warm, and in the rain, it's dry. And right. I can't speak enough. If you uh, have a Pete's Choice <laughs> – I just love these. It makes uh, – I remember I went to a game once, and it was rainy, and they were – they weren't aluminum bleachers, so they weren't real cold. Right. But they were wet. 
Right. And everyone else is sitting there. Ooh, ooh, yeah. ooh. And I had my cushion. You're in comfort. I, yeah, I was I was like, ah, I'm feeling yeah. pretty good. I, I think I could have sold a couple hundred of them that day. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Anyways, uh, take care of yourself while you're seated. Uh, change your posture. Be aware of it. Look at other people. You'll find other people. Yeah slouching and after you're aware of it that's going to help remind you to get your body up right don't go and tell them brad yeah i mean they shouldn't go and tell other people to straighten up you'll be irritating right <laughs> we know that from personal experience yeah, yeah that's right <laughs> so straighten up it's contagious Once i tell my person... kids all the time and they come tell me and i'm upset when they tell me <laughs> yeah so <laughs> what so, goes around comes around yeah, it's all so. good uh stay tall good save your back and you'll be happy as can be once again bob we can fix just about anything except, except for that broken heart now, broken heart we gotta put it together yeah we'll continue to we'll work figure out. it out continue to work on that there we go